You're listening to KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters down here in the KEXP studios at Syncane. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Just here a couple of years ago, and boy, already a fantastic new album. Tell me the name of it. The Pace. All right. I wasn't yeah. sure exactly how to say that. The <laughs> Pace. The Pace. And why don't you start us off with a couple songs, and then we'll catch up. All right. Let's do it, guys. Everybody! And to my mama, my papa, Shiraza, to Aza, and everybody in between. Don't you know we're all on the same day? And now I'm feeling strong.
Sounds good, Bass. live on KEXP. I'm out of breath from dancing. That was absolutely wonderful. It is so great to see you. Thanks for having us back. Thank you for coming back. Can we meet this wonderful band? Absolutely. This is Elena Canlas on the keys and the voice. This is Johnny Lamb on the guitar and the voice. This is Ish Montgomery on the bass and the voice. And this is the newest member of our group, Chris St. Hilaire on the drums and the voice. Well, welcome. And you started us off with two songs from the new album, Everybody, Everyone. I mean, those two words right there yeah. say quite a bit. Yeah. T tell, me, tell me about this record. Well, um, I started writing this record a couple months after we were actually here, you know, doing the, the last album, Life and Living It. And, you know, before Life and Living It, I wrote, I wrote that album, you know, trying to, you know, lift my spirits because of the time, you know, still going on now, but at the time it was the starting of like all the police shootings and like the divisive language going on all over the United States. And I felt like I really needed some positive reinforcement. So I wanted to write these like really positive songs. And then as we released that album and we started traveling the world a bit more, things just seemed to get a bit worse. And especially in, in my country, Sudan, things started getting 
pretty bad, and I felt like I needed to use this soapbox that I have as a vehicle to to talk about stuff, you know, be a little bit more political, and um, also just be a little be more inspirational, but like be very realistic, you know. So I I came up everybody and everyone. Both of those songs are a testament to that, you know. I wanted to write a, a song that was hopeful, but also very realistic, you know, with everybody. But and then on top of that. I wanted to write another song that that answered the question, how do you be hopeful, you know, and what what does it take, you know, to to be positive, and love is what it takes to be positive, I think, and so those two kind of help spearhead the idea of the new album. I feel like there has been a lot of self-discovery evident um, throughout your many albums, but it feels like on this latest record, you're trying to connect with yourself in mm -hmm. an even deeper, different way, and of course, that in turn makes you connect deeper with other people, your listeners, the people in your life, the people, your friends and your family. Can you talk about the duality that you've expressed about, yeah. you know, living here in the U.S. for much of your life by, by having a deep connection and roots in Sudan? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people who have grown up like me have had a, this sense of confusion about themselves um, because of growing up in a place that's foreign to where they're from. Um, and it, 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 it doubles down when you travel back to that place where you come from and you also feel like you don't belong there as well or people are telling you like you're not, you're not like us, you know? And I had a problem with that for a very long time and I didn't know how to reconcile that situation. Uh, as we started touring a bit more and as this band started to formulate a bit more, I realized that it's okay, you know, to be who you are and no one can define who you are other than yourself. And so I became, I came to peace with all of that stuff um, through, through my bandmates, through touring, through connecting with other people like me. And I felt like it was really important to express that on this album because there are people that are like me that still feel confused, you know, and they feel alone. They think that, you know, they're the only person who feels this way. And it can get you into a very dark place. But if you see someone else who expresses this kind of stuff and tells you that you're not alone, it can really help you. I'm really impacted by the song Ya Sudan. I see you're going to play that mm -hmm. uh, after we talk. And last month, a coup ousted Al Bashir, mm -hmm. who, you know, of course, ruled in a coup where he took over in 89, which was much of the reason your family had to leave Sudan. And you wrote that song before this recent um, chain of events. Can you tell me a little bit about that song? Sure, yeah. That song was meant to be, originally was meant to be a statement about coming to peace with my duality. You know, understanding that Sudan is where I come from, but Sudan isn't the only thing that makes up who I am. Um, and it was kind of this like sentimental song written for Sudan as like this concept and this idea that, you know, people who are like me who grew up outside of Sudan, but are Sudanese understand of what Sudan means. But as stuff started happening politically there, it kind of took a life of its own and it became an anthem, not only for people like me, but for, for Sudanese people all around the world, you know? And I'm really proud of that. And I think that, you know, there's more to it now. Um, and I'm learning much more about what that song actually means through the revolution that's happening now. There's so much in your lyrics to dig into, but you draw the sound of your music from a very wide um, range of musical styles, which is so exciting. I mean, jazz, Afrobeat, pop, reggae, shoegaze, rock, and it seems like you're always refining your sound, which is very distinctive, and you seem really excited to be always learning and always growing. What are the, some of the things that help you find balance and keep growing in your music and in your life? Yeah. Well, my bandmates were for one, you know. Um, we have a really fun relationship uh, as a band. We love to challenge each other. Um, we like to bring out the best of each other. And I think that as I write more music and as these guys are more involved, I see things at, in angles that I would never see before. You know, I think that's an amazing thing. Um, I think just growing up and the experience of growing up is probably the biggest inspiration that I have now, learning from my mistakes and accepting myself for who I am, you know? It really just kind of opens up your brain a bit to see things in a different way, you know? And, and, and as I like go back to listen to my favorite records or uh, my favorite styles of music, the older that I get, I start seeing 
a, 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 them from a different perspective, you know? And I, I see, like, and, and accept and understand something that I didn't before, you know? And I think that goes for a lot of people, but I'm, a, I'm a kind of in my head a lot about music, and I think about it way too much, you know? <laughs> and I think that can get the best of you, but it can also really yield some interesting results. As if your live shows aren't exciting enough, you teamed up with Mad Alchemy. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how that's transformed your live shows? Yeah, yeah. I, so I'm a really big Grateful Dead fan, and um, I really loved their their Liquid Light shows that they would do. You know, when at the outset of the band, and this guy Lance Gordon, who has a group or like a light sh thing called the the Mad Alchemist Liquid Light Show, he does that and kind of takes it to this other level. And the, the first time I heard about him was when he um, he did it with. A, a friend's band, the great, Grateful Shred, which is a Grateful Dead cover band. I saw it and I thought, this is so amazing. You know, it'd be really great to compliment what we're doing. Um, and I just hit him up and he said, okay, let's go. And he's been great. He's, he's a lot of fun to work with and uh, really pushes himself every night to come up with some really great stuff. And sometimes, you know, we'll be playing and I'll turn around and I'll just kind of get mesmerized and be lost in the, <laughs> in the, in the lights. But it's, it's, been a, a treat to have them. Oh, that sounds so fun. We're live here in the KEXP studios with Sin Kane playing songs from the new album, De Pays Se. Yeah, yeah. And uh, got a couple more for us? Yeah, yeah. This one is called Ya Sudan, and I want to uh, say this to, this song is dedicated to all the people from Sudan that are dealing with uh, what's going on right now. We, this band, Sin Kane stands with you. We support you. If you guys don't know anything about what's going on in Sudan right now, you can go onto my Instagram, at Sinkane. Uh, there's a lot of information going on there, and there's a lot of other people online. Uh, another Instagram that's great to look at is BS on Blast. Uh, we have a lot of information about what's happening right now, and everyone should just Google Sudan. And if you have any Sudanese friends, give them a hug, talk to them, ask them how their families are doing. We're all with you guys. I think of all the people I keep inside me The ones who came before and fell underneath The ones I know who watch over me I think of all the people here on my journey How they help bring out new parts of me when I accept my duality Cause if I aspire to formality She'll lead me astray from my chosen path From where it began and on the path Ya Sudan Ya Sudan Psyche, I'm Ricky, Sudani. Ya 
Kane live on KEXP. Is that one called Mango? Mango. I love when everyone's singing together. So joyous. (laughs) Thank you. 
Thanks for this wonderful new album, and thank you for playing songs for us today. Thanks for having us again. It's Sin Kane live on KEXB Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.